When I was little, I used to try to drown my dog. <laughs> I don't want to say what's wrong with you, but what's wrong with you? No, what the f***? No. <laughs> Only if you're above 18, please. I showed my cousin and things happened. No! I would be scared to date you. So... <laughs> no! What the f***? Kids are sucking ninth grade? <laughs> so I know most of my Instagram followers, y'all are pretty... Y'all are pretty horny. Like, I'm just... If I'm gonna be honest, y'all are down bad as fuck. But I do think you guys have some interesting confessions. So I posted on my Instagram story for you guys to tell me some of your deepest and darkest secrets. And I'm here to expose them. All anonymously, of course. So let's get started. I genuinely will let you rail the fuck out of me. Well, that is very flattering. Thank you. However, I will need an age check first. Yeah. Shared a tent with my boyfriend and two friends on a camping trip and did it with my boyfriend while the others slept. So it must have been a really big tent, right? Because it fit four people. And then while the other two were sleeping, y'all and your boyfriend were like spooning, I'm guessing, and just doing it. Because I don't think you guys could go full on like missionary doggy and do it because I, you know, might wake them up. So it must have been like, like little side spooning fucks like. <laughs> right? I don't know, I like this one because it does remind me of a story that I do have of a similar situation, but it wasn't on a camping trip. Instead, it was at a house party. I don't know if I'll tell this now, but if you guys want to hear it, leave a comment and maybe I'll make a video out of it. Moving on. I have some weird sexual relationships with my uncle. Okay, so now we're getting into some family time. Um... I don't... I don't really know what to say to this one. I just hope that family dinners are okay and Thanksgiving and Christmas are healthy. I just thought of something so bad. I'm just I'm just imagining your uncle coming home for Christmas. Hey, guess who's home? You ready for your present? One time I was curious and like attached my back massager to my clit and it was that's interesting. I didn't know back massagers could be used as vibrators, but that's good to know, you know? Add to cart, Amazon, okay. One time, I watched my ex shove a corn dog up his ass because he wanted to know what it felt like. What does it feel like? Hold on. Okay, so I don't have any corn dogs, but I have this bottle, so I don't I don't I don't think I'm ever going to try that. I, even if I was curious, I don't think I would try that. No. No, what the fuck? No. I'm going to have to say that maybe your ex is a little bit sus and he might need to question his own sexuality a little bit. Maybe you got to tell him to go out with the boys somewhere on a night trip somewhere. Actually, no, maybe maybe don't do that. You might lose your boyfriend. Okay, anyways, moving on. Literally me and my friend just talk about how hot you are when you drop a new vid. That is very flattering, thank you. Okay, but I don't know if you saw my last video where I had the bag over my head and I look like a Korean grandma. I don't really think I'm that attractive, but you know, thank you. Did the dirty with a Tinder dude in a gazebo at a random person's backyard at 3 a.m. Damn, yo, that sounds like a fire story. I'm genuinely curious, DM me the whole story. I actually wanna read what happened. I broke my sister's leg and said it was an accident. I didn't feel guilty, that bitch got what she deserved. She's your sister. No. But then again, I don't know what your sister is like. So, I mean, maybe she deserves it. But damn, that's, that's pretty that's pretty ruthless. I got suspended from school in ninth grade for giving my ex head in the gender neutral bathroom. What the fuck? Kids are sucking dick in ninth grade? Dude, when I was in ninth grade, I was playing with Yu-Gi-Oh cards and trying to learn parkour. I don't even think I was like confident in talking to girls until I was like grade 11, 12. Okay, anyways. I made a homeless man buy me a pack of cigarettes when I was 16 in Miami. Kids start smoking that young? That's crazy! Yo! Stop it. Stop smoking. Do it for me. But also, kudos to the homeless man. You get that bag. I ate a girl out at school, then made out with my boyfriend when he came to pick me up 10 minutes later. <gasps> I'm just imagining that scenario. Hey babe. Mwah. Ew. Did you have tuna? Why your lips taste like that? Oh, sorry. The um, the egg salad sandwich at the cafeteria today had a little bit of tuna. <laughs> That's so... <gasps> no! <laughs> when I was little, I used to try to drown my dog. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't want to say what's wrong with you, but what's wrong with you? <laughs> what did the dog... What did the dog do to you? <gasps> oh...
When I first found out what porn was, I wanted to try, so I showed my cousin and things happened. <sighs> okay, so I have family members in China, but I don't think I could ever watch porn with a family member. That is just so weird. Like, even if I had- Because I do have a cousin, right? But I don't know, just- <sighs> No. So did you guys do it all the way? I'm actually curious. Like what happened? Damn, my followers, y'all are y'all are pretty down bad, huh? I low-key just wanna come meet you and fuck. I'm from Toronto, by the way. I mean. Only if you're above 18, please. And I am planning a trip to Toronto though. Like east coast of Canada and probably New York, Chicago. I wanna visit all those places. So when I do make an east coast trip, I'll probably announce it and um just hit me up then. Not, not saying we're definitely going to fuck, because, you know, I obviously want to make sure that you have a fantastic personality before I do. Okay. I, female, 16, have an internship at a bank. Okay, cool. And I regularly make out with my boss, male, 39, after work. This sounds like it just came straight out of like a fan fiction, like horny story, ASMR type of thing. Yeah, if you, if you don't like it, maybe work somewhere else i don't know what to say to this one ate a girl out while she had stds oh my so 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 are you okay did you get checked make sure you got checked okay like for me go to a doctor tomorrow please i masturbate to kim jong-un i feel like this one's cap like i don't know just looking at the guy unless you have a fetish for like big chubby korean guys i don't see the normal person doing that but hey, I mean, whatever gets you off, yeah. Sometimes I want to put cream on your dick and eat it. Wow. Thank you. Okay, now let's read some of the confessions I got in my DMs. Oh, wow, this one's... Okay. My stepbrother took my virginity and I low-key liked it. You know where you would do really great? Pornhub. Like, I guarantee you would love it. And then send me a discount code if you ever do an OnlyFans. Okay. I one time, after I got cheated on, went to my ex's apartment, his roommate let me in, thinking we were still together, painted the word cheater across his wall, and took my favorite sweater of his and never looked back. So you crazy crazy, I would be scared to date you. Like I feel like this is something you would see off like a TikTok video. Girl heartbroken, goes to Walmart, buys supplies, buys paint goes to ex-boyfriend's house, breaks in, paints all over the wall, end of video. I feel like that would be a fire TikTok video, but at the same time, damn. Anyway, another big sexual fantasy of mine is being railed inside of a church on top of an altar while the man railing me is dressed as a priest and there's gotta be a few people in the church in different areas so that they're able to hear us going at it. Okay, so it's a fantasy to, you know, like, get fucked by a priest. But did you really have to bring other people into it? Like, you're at the top of the altar, you know, you're getting railed. Boom, boom, boom. But then at the bottom of the church, you know, everyone's lined up. They're sitting down nice. Everyone's praying. Ooh, holy God, what are we having for dinner today? And the kids are, you know, like, oh, hey, man, what's up? What's up? And then all of a sudden, they just hear like, oh, oh. I just feel like at that point you're ruining church for everyone and the kids are gonna be scarred for life. Oh gosh. So I went on Pornhub looking for the perfect video and then I stumble across this one video. The title was Ebony taking big white D for the first time. So I clicked and the girl in the video sound familiar and then I realized it was my stepmom getting railed by a random stranger. I watched the video and masturbate to it because I always thought my stepmom was hot. Shit, I mean, send me the link. I don't know about that one, but I hope you figure it out. So I moved to Vancouver, and apparently it's a thing for guys to suck the girl's toes. Lamau, please correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, I hooked up with this guy last week, and he deadass stuck his toe in my ass and proceeded to shove his foot in my face. Not sexy. No! I'm just imagining. Okay, but first off, how do you get in that position where his toe goes into your ass? Like, because I'm missionary, that's, like, pretty much impossible. Because, like, you know, my feet are, like, back here. The only, like, way that I can think of this happening is, like, I don't know, like, doggy. So the girl's kind of, like, like you know, like, bent over. So the guy's just kind of doing it, grabbing onto her hips. And then all of a sudden pulls out, dips his toe into your asshole. And then proceeds to, like, like step on your face. Imagine if that guy had your shit on his toe. And then you, like, ate it. I feel like you would be scarred for life, but dang, that's crazy. But I mean, if you took it like a champ, hey, kudos to you. 
But you know, I am in Vancouver, so if you want some more toe in your ass, let me know. I feel like all of these down bad horny ass motherfucking DMs, I need to cleanse my mind, you know, replenish the palate of mental innocence. So let's read a wholesome one. There was this guy I used to date that I met at cadet camp and he had a twin. Long story short, both of them liked me and I only liked one of them and the one I didn't like pretended to be the twin that I liked so I ended up dating him and he didn't tell me until 4 months in so I broke it off with him and dated the other twin until I broke it off after 3 months because I still secretly liked the first one I dated. I can definitely see that happening at cadet camp like just hooking up with twins and then not knowing who was which but I feel like there must have been a way to at least somewhat tell them apart right? Okay, so I broke up with my toxic ass ex. Two weeks after I texted him that I'm pregnant, we met up and talked about it in the car. And I got really emotional because I wanted to keep it. He wanted the abortion so much that he wanted to help pay. And we talked for like four hours and then I went home. We agreed to get an abortion, so he picked me up for the abortion. I went in, came out 30 minutes later, he asked, so what happened? I said, it's done. He sent me the money for the abortion, and if you know how much abortions are usually, he sent me half of that. He started driving. He just took me home while I was tearing up in the car. The whole drive, I was silent, and that was it. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I was never pregnant, but I faked it because I wanted the money and he cheated on me and disrespected throughout the two years we dated. <gasps> That's so bad. <gasps> That's so bad. Oh my god. I mean, yeah, okay, if he was a shitty person, but damn, that's... <laughs> so you faked being pregnant and you faked the abortion. Okay, but how do you, like, fake an abortion? Because doesn't the doctor have to go in and, like, do some pussy magic and get that baby out? But, but shit, man. I don't know what to say to this. Yeah, I can see that after, you know, a breakup, you're super emotional. But when was the turning point for you to be like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck this guy over. I'm gonna pretend that I'm pregnant. I'm gonna go to the abortion. Yeah, he's gonna give me half the money for that. Yeah, fuck this guy. I mean, I, I, I don't think I'd ever want to make you mad. So, um, shit. I guess what I learned from this experience is that my followers and subscribers... Y'all are down bad as fuck. Like, y'all are not... No, y you guys are not even down bad. You guys are down terrible. Down terrible, down beneath the depths of hell. Like, that is how bad down you are. You guys need Jesus and holy water. No, holy water wouldn't even save you guys. Y'all just need a baptism for real. Anyways, thank you everyone who submitted their confessions. I actually had a lot of fun doing this. And it was very nice for me to get to know you guys a lot more maybe a little too much but you know it was very nice and i do appreciate each and every one i guess that's gonna be it for today's video thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time stay down bad peace oh fuck man i need some holy water after reading that oh.